हेलो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद मुबस्सिर पियरिंग एनरोलमेंट नंबर जीएम 3146 एंड माय फैकल्टी रोल नंबर इज 20 जीजीबी 417 आई एम ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी ऑनर्स ज्योग्राफी थर्ड सेमेस्टर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ज्योग्राफी फैकल्टी ऑफ आर्ट्स अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू समराइज अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन मीनिंग ऑफ द टाइटल ऑफ ज्योग्राफी प्रैक्टिकल पेपर ऑफ बीए थर्ड सेमेस्टर ज्योग्राफी मेन so today's title of the paper is in geography today we study today's title of the paper is statistical methods in geography we are studying today that what is statistical method in geography first of all we will discuss the term this statistical word have to understand first this statistical word comes from the german word statistic statistic this german word statistics and the meaning of statistic is a council of ministers in political science we are studying that uh, a minister of councils they are sitting there and making meetings and they are doing lots of things in their meetings so and the godfried asenwall known as the father of statistics godfried asenwall is known as father of statistics now the question arises that why we are using statistics what is the use of statistics what is the role of statistics why we are studying statistics now come to know so first of all we will discuss the terms and meaning of statistics so the word statistics come from the german word as i am telling now come to know that uh, it helps to develop an appreciation for variability and <clears throat> estimating the present for future prediction or to build knowledge and important in every aspect for society now see that we are studying in this video that statistics should be understand in different ways also now we see that what actually statistics means statistics is defined as the science of collecting data organizing analysis compilation tabulation presentation of data and interpretation of numerical data that we are also used in presenting data that has a geographical area dimension such as census taking example now in second way we are saying that geographers use statistics for describe summarize spatial data estimate the probability of outcomes for an event and to determine frequency now we will see what is frequency it is the part of data and it relates with data and number which is any numerical value like 11 21 30 42 take any number like 11 20 22 42 any of the numbers we are taking so what we are seeing in this that why data is a raw information what we are seeing that data is a raw information basically data is a raw information raw information what data is data is basically a raw information basically it consists of two branches now we are seeing in this video that so what we are seeing that basically consists of two branches statistics consists of two branches one is called one is called descriptive statistics and the second is called inferential statistics one is called descriptive statistics and second is called inferential what second is called inferential statistics this both descriptive statistics and inferential statistics now we are seeing that what is the meaning of descriptive statistics and which type of statistics comes under descriptive and which type of statistics comes under inferential statistics 
Now we see one by one. Now it starts with descriptive statistics. That what is descriptive statistics? So basically descriptive statistics deals with organize and describe a sample or population. Uh, basically we are seeing that a government using the data, the government using the data, raw data for um, seeing the population of a country, of a state, of a district, of an area, of a village. So as like that. And the, uh, and the second one is inferential. inferential. Now we are seeing that what is inferential statistics. So inferential statistics deals with extrapolate, extrapolate or estimate from a sample to larger population. Now the question arises that why we are using it or studying statistics for the num numerous aspects of data for society. Sometimes people are saying that why we are studying statistics, what is the use of that, what is the use of data. So we have to tell to that or those people who are asking like this. Basically we have everything collecting raw materials from data only. If, you, if we are want to collect the data of a government um, census or a population or a, like a come to come in a school, if you want to see that how many students are there in a school, we have to check the register first, attendance register. And in that attendance register, we are seeing that which student coming and how much day in the month or a week. So the, this data will show me the records, so as the records that what is basically in between. So this is, this is helping in statistics. Here, the reasons are explanation arisen that it takes measurement in assignment of numbers data collecting, sample collection and all possible population data. Now, why we are seeing sample collection on no all possible data? Let's see. It also deals with variance in which data. Now, what is variance? Question arises, variance. What is variance? Basically, we are understanding that variance means varying. Varying means changing from one data to another data. So, deals with variance in which data from a sample differ in some measurable way. What we are doing? Measurable way. Now, we will talk about the information that we get from statistics. Inferential, informatic may be quantitative, just equality or something or exam. Same information may be qualitative, just like equality of something for exams, shape, color, appearance, material. Huh. Like uh, we are seeing that information, uh, uh, I'm telling previously that information like shape, shape, color, Wait a minute. Shape, color, appearance, appearance, and finally material. These are the four that we are studying in this. Now see, we go through the methods for statistics. It is something like. Uh, from it made of other of quantitative like material information about anything of this universe. For example, we take as length, breadth of a duster, any of the thing. Like uh, this is the duster, we take the length of this duster, breadth of this duster. Now we go through the methods for the statistics. It is something like techniques such as central tendency, dispersion, quartile, decile and percentile along with their steps. What we are saying, it is something like techniques such as central tendency, wait, central tendency, central tendency, central tendency, and other is dispersion. This person next is quartile, next is decile, and another is percentile. We are studying all these frequencies in 
this topic now the points comes that statistical method for geography is a systematic introduction to the essential techniques that all students must understand it provide an integrated review of spatial data on spatial data analysis statistical method are also essential and vital tool in scientific research that helps in uh, designing experiment analyzing data which contribute to making appropriate decision in the light of the researchers findings or uh, sometimes we are saying that researchers are researchers are uh, finding so many things in uh, data or in any of the records so now now at end we conclude that statistics should be mentioned and now uh, uh, now finally come to the point that uh, contribute to put a light on the major terms geography as we see that geography we are studying geography as we all know that geography come derived from the two greek word geography comes geography derived from the two greek word geo and graphy geo and graphy geo means what as we all know geo means earth geo means earth and graphy means graphy means what nature or description so we are studying finally earth's description on nature it plays the relationship between people and their environment now i conclude my words thank you